Hi YouTube. Today we're going to work with natural logarithms on the abacus. We're going to first learn about the infinite series and of the natural logarithm and we're going to do it do it on three abacuses. This one's going to be our CPU or this is where all the calculations are going to take place. This is going to hold the end result and this is going to be our memory our RAM. So I'm going to make another video on how to find the logarithm of 2 next, the natural logarithm of 2, but I already have it as 0 0.693. And what we're going to do is, let's say you have one logarithm, you have 2, but you want to find the logarithm of 5. So what you can do is times the logarithm of 2 by 2, and that would be logarithm of 4. But you want 5, so what we're going to do is we're going to divide 5 by 4, which will be 1.25. And we're going to find the logarithm of 1.25 and add it to the logarithm of 4, which will give us the result of the logarithm of 5. So I'll, I'll keep going back from the abacus into this equation so you're not confused. So we have to find the logarithm of 1.25. So we'll start off by four, a four and a five. We want the logarithm of five. So we start off with, because we have a four, we're gonna start off with a four. So how many times does four go into five? One time with the remainder of one. So we're gonna move that one over and move this one over. So how many times does four go into one zero, one zero or 10? Two times, which will be eight. 4 times 2 is 8. Subtract 8 from 1, 0. That leaves us with a 2. A remainder of 2. Move the remainder over one spot. And move the answer over two spots. So how many times does 4 go into 20? 2, 0. 5. And that's it. 4 divided by 5 is 1.25. So right now we're going to have to subtract 1 from 1.25. And that will give us x. So 1 minus 1.25 will be 25. I'm going to keep the 1 there as the decimal point. So we have 0 0.25. So what we want to do now is times that 0 0.25 by itself squared. Then we divide by 2. Save that result. Then we're going to times... 0 0.25 by cubed three times divide by three okay so just bear with me this, I'm not really good at teaching but I'm gonna to try to show you how to do this okay so we're gonna start off with 0 0.25 squared so 5 times 5 will be 25 5 times 2 will be 10 so we're going to go over to the next place, put in the 0, 1, the 10. Now we have a 2 times 5. We start off on this second place, put in a 1, 0. Now we have 2 times 2, which would be 4. So we'll be on this place at a 4, so we'll do a 5 minus 1. And that will make 0. 0 0.0625 so 0 0.25 times itself is 0 0.0625 so we're going to save that in memory because we're going to need that when we have to find the cube of 0 0.25 so we're going to put in 5 2 6 0 point 0.625 so we're going to save that in memory so now what we're going to do is put that 0 0.0625 and we're going to divide it by 2 and the end result is going to be here so in the end result we're going to put x which is going to be one zero point zero two five. So now we're going to divide this number by 2. So we'll start off with a decimal point. 
How many times does two go into six? Two goes into six three times. How many times does two go into two? One time. How many times does two go into five? Two times. With a remainder of one. How many times does two go into ten? Five times. So we have x cubed, x squared divided by two will equal 0 0.0313. So what we're going to do is now we're going to subtract that from x. And x is 0 0.25. So we're going to subtract the 1. Minus 3, minus 1, minus 3. So, so far our answer is getting closer. It's 0.21886. Okay. So now we're going to recall memory, which is x squared, which is 0, 6, 2, 5. And we're going to time that again by 0 0.25 because we want to find the cube of 0 0.25. So 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 6 is 30. Now we have a 2, and we're going to start off in the second place. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 6 is 12. So that gives us an answer of 0 0.15625. Now we're going to divide that x cubed by 3. So we're going to put in a decimal point, a 1, a 5, a 6. Actually, since it's 2, 5, we'll make this a 3. So it'll be, it'll be 0, 1, 6, 0, 1, 5, 6, 3. Now we're going to divide it by 3. Decimal point right here. Starting in the third place, how many times does 3 go into 15? Five times. How many times does 3 go into 6? Two times. How many times does 3 go into 3? One time. Okay, so... We can clear the memory out. We don't need this anymore. Now we got our answer basically. So what we have here is a zero zero five two one. So we we'll just go with the zero zero five, and we're going to add that zero zero five to this eight. So we'll put in a ten minus a five. So. The logarithm of 1.25 is actually 0 0.2235. So we just found the logarithm of 1.25. Now if we have if we already had the logarithm of 2, which is 0 0.693, which I'll show you in another video video how we get that. So we're gonna times 0 0.693 by 2, and that'll give us a logarithm of 4. So 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 9 is 18, 2 times 6 is 12, so the logarithm of 4 is 1.386. Now we're going to add the 0 0.223, 0 0.223, so I'm going to add a, the 3, the 2, and the other 2, and that gives us the logarithm of 5, which is 1.609, that's the logarithm of 5. That's how you do logarithms on the abacus. Starting with the logarithm of 2, which I'll, sh which I'll show you how to find on the abacus in the next video. Hope that helps. Hope it wasn't too confusing, but the abacus is a great thing. Okay, have a good day.